Now we will be talking about numbers. Let's create a Python program called numbers.py. So in this number.py folder, I'm going to be exploring a little bit more in depth numbers. So now in numbers, you can have positive, positive integers, something like three. You can have negative, negative, negative integers, integers, something like negative mm, six. You can also have big integers, integer, something like a random huge number. All of these are considered integers. We know this because we're going to print it. Print. Okay. Now we're going to check if they're, they are all integers. As you can see, they're all considered integers. The next thing we're going to do, let's comment this out. We're going to explore a little bit more in Booleans. Booleans are actually considered zeros and uh, zeros and one. So the first Boolean is called a true Boolean. True Boolean called true, false, Boolean equals false. Over here, we're going to do some math with the booleans in order for you to actually see that it works. So we're going to print. Okay, now we're going to press on the code. As you can see here, one plus one equals two, and four plus zero equals four. So booleans are also considered, truth and false are also considered numbers. So now we'll check the floating, the floats. Okay, for the float type, you have the regular float number. So a float num equals something like seven, I say four point zero. Float num function equals float. We call it the function float. Let's put the number four inside of it. And then we're gonna check the value. The value should be the same thing as this because it's going to change this into a float. So it's going to add the point zero right after it. So let's uh, print it out and see the result of the float num, float underscore num here. As you can see, 4.0. So it becomes the same thing as this after you, you run the function float right before the, the actual number. And you, you can also have uh, negative floats. So float underscore neg equals negative 2.6. Floats can also be scientific numbers. So you can write float, let's call this float science one, float science equals 23, small e, 4, this works. So this small e, this small e right here indicates to the power of, of 10. You can also have float, let's call this science b, equals 34, capital E, 7. Essentially, these two are, are doing the same thing. So once you write that e, it turns this into a scientific number. Let's comment this out. The next thing we're going to check is the complex number. There's only two complex type that you can have. You can have complex number that are positive and then complex number that are negative. So the first one, po positive one, is going to call it complex P, equals mm, three plus a j 
and then complex negative is 4 minus 3j and these are how you write the complex number the next thing that we're going to do is basic the basic operations you can add them you can multiply them you can subtract them you can subtract them you can divide them you can to the remainder you can floor division and then you can exponential so these are the operation that you can do with all of these numbers here